Hello everyone, welcome to Money Mondays. Today's topic is interest. We've all heard it, I'm sure you've all heard it. At the bank, uh, on your credit cards, um, um, mortgages, etc. Most of those things have to do with banks. Uh, when you go buy a car, financing, they say APR, which is a fancy term for interest, etc, uh, etc. Et now, I'm sure in some capacity, every most of us understand what it is, but to, to you know, make sure we're all on the same page, it's gonna be a basic explanation of the simple ter concept of interest. Eventually, I'll get into the compounding, maybe next video, but for now, simple, simply put, it's uh, the price of your borrowing someone's money, if you're borrowing, or it's, it's still the same thing because when you're in a savings account, technically the bank's borrowing your money from you. I'm not going to get complicated. That how the banks work, that's another video I'm, I got to do eventually. But for now, interest is that. So if you borrow money, let's say in a small example to keep it simple, you borrowed $100 from the bank and the bank charges you 5%. This is not a real example, this is just hypothetically. The bank charges you 5%. Typically, not mostly, interest is expressed in a year. So whatever that percent is, that's in, in the span of a year. So, if you borrow $100 today, then next year, sorry, if you borrow $100 at 5% interest today, then next year you owe the bank $100 that you borrowed, plus five dollars that is the interest the five dollars is the interest so you're not just borrowing at a flat rate you're not just borrowing at oh let me borrow a hundred dollars and I'll pay you back no it's uh, let me borrow a hundred dollars and I and the banks like okay but to borrow that we're charging you an extra five dollars and then when the time comes you pay a hundred and five right that's simple interest that's what interest is okay and then on the other side of it the, the, the credit cards and all these things it's a little more complicated because compounding takes effect. Um, when you're saving, it's the, like I said, when you're saving your money, it's the opposite. You're giving them, you're putting your money in a savings account. And if you don't understand how banks work, it's not just, you don't put your money in like a vault, your coins and your, your cash, it's not going in some vault in the bank. There are vaults, there are vaults, but that's for purposes of, distributing distributing the money when people want to take it out it's not for the savings part of it what the savings is actually doing the bank is borrowing that money from you and they're paying you you know we don't realize it because it's so small in savings accounts in Canada specifically I'm guessing most of the world's in the same climate right now but if you put your money in a savings account you don't even realize the interest because it's so small it's like a percent maybe less and what the banks do, and this is how they make money, is so they, they, they pay you the small percent and then they charge someone else the, the larger percent. Theoretically, it could even be that you are putting your money in a savings account and you have a line of credit. Theoretically, the bank is giving you 1% or less to borrow your money and you're paying 20, like 14, 9, whatever percent your line of credit is to borrow that money back. Now, I'm getting a little off topic and I'm getting a little over beyond the scope of this. So that's all I really wanted to talk about is interest itself and that's what it is. Now you know, I'm sure you already knew, but now you have more of a, a deeper understanding of it. You borrow money, you're paying back more than what you borrowed. You save money, theoretically, it's, if it stays there, it's going to... They're, the bank is paying you basically to keep it there, which is the interest. If it's 1% and you put $100 in a savings account, by the end of the year, it should be 101 technically more, not going to get into that. So if it was a 1% interest rate and you put your money in the bank for a year, $100, you would have now 101 So you wouldn't have, you had to have earned a dollar. This can also apply to investing and other things, but it's not, it's a little more complicated than that. Uh, at the end of the day, interest is the term, the word interest is used interchangeably, interchangeably for different things. So in investments, 
it can mean your rate of return, meaning the way, how much your money is growing by each year. And with investments, it's a little more tricky to explain because with investments, it's usually as an average of how much it's earned throughout the years. So it's an average per year. So that's why people don't understand when someone says, you know, this averaged 8% per year over the past 10 years. They don't understand though that it could have meant that one year it was 16% or sorry, one year was like, yeah, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be accurate. But one year it could have gone to earn 16% and the next year it could have, could have earned 0%. If you do over the two years, the average was 8%. So the second year it didn't earn anything. It could even lose money. It could have even lost money in this investment and then gained it back. But if you take out the average of all the years, that's your average rate of return. Interest, rate of return, all these things are similar concepts. Just so you understand that it's about growth mainly. Your money's growth. And in the terms of this is kind of the the next topic, but I'll talk about it a little bit. When you're borrowing money, like a mortgage from the bank or like a, a credit card or whatever, those those interest rates are are adding on to what you borrowed. So if you don't pay off the full amount, called the principal, if you don't pay off the full amount, then whatever's remaining will add, they will add the, the interest rate that is left. Sorry, they will they will charge the interest rate percent, whatever it may be, five percent, twenty percent on what's remaining on the of what you owe called the principal. And then guess what? That adds to the principal value that you owe. So if you don't pay it back or if you don't pay back enough, that could keep growing or it won't go down as fast. So you're paying money for nothing. That's the problem with borrowing. That's why interest can be your worst enemy or your best friend if you're saving. Uh, that's all I have to say about interest really. Uh, I managed to make a really simple topic last seven and a half minutes. Perfect, good on me. And uh, uh, stay tuned for next week. I will talk about compound interest, which is really the power of, of interest and what it can do. So that's all. Take care. Let's keep going together. Start learning what, understanding what interest is. And I'll see you next time.